Hey guys, it's your girl Kat of the Naturally the Files. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I just literally started like having a tickle in my throat and was coughing like out of control. But, um, this is just a random vlog about, um, things that I like to eat for the moment. Right? Okay. So, <clears throat> as you guys may know, I am vegetarian about 80% of the time. I still have a little meat, you know, have some meat every now and then. You know, I'm not going to turn it down because I love meat and that was what I was growing, growing up eating, you know what I mean? But, um, for the most part, I eat no meat, okay? But, um, I do love to make really chock full salads of so many good things inside. Like right now, I have to share with you guys. Okay, so first of all, when I show you this bowl, do not laugh because it's a big ass bowl. But what I do is I make these humongous bowls of salad <clears throat> and just put them in the fridge and eat a little bit every day. But right now, it's been <clears throat> a completely ravenous day. And here I am eating from this large ass bowl. Okay? Okay. And what's in there? It's got, um,. Um, <clears throat> broccoli in there, um, carrots, chickpeas, black beans, mozzarella, cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack, um, uh, spinach, um, sunflower seeds, um, roasted, not salted, um, bean sprouts, Brussels, not Brussels sprouts, but, um, like, sprouts sprouts like really healthy sprouts um and I feel like there's something else in there but I'm forgetting normally I put onions in there as well um and um <clears throat> and corn but I don't have any corn today so I gotta go to the market and get some corn um but that's my salad it's so filling so good sometimes for dressing I use um olive oil a little bit of lime um or lemon juice and um a little bit of um cayenne pepper and with a little bit of pinch of like black pepper mix it all up throw it in there sometimes I do that if I want it all really all natural um and then other times the dressing that I use from the store <clears throat> is the um Newman Zone the Paul Newman balsamic vinaigrette which is my all-time favorite dressing in the entire world um <clears throat> and wow I'm eating that and trying to get the broccoli for it out of my throat, okay? I'm actually drinking this bad boy right here. It's a Trader Joe's Very Green Juice Blend. Now, if you recall, a little while back, I was showing you guys the... Did I show you guys the, um, the Very Green Powder that I bought from Trader Joe's? I made a video about it. I don't know if I put it up, but anyway... It's the powder to the very green. It's by Trader Joe's and it's this awesome green powder and you can mix it with juice or mix it with water. And you should drink that pretty much <coughs> every day. You should drink it every day. Um, and for the most part, if I remember, I try to drink it every morning. Um, and it's super good. Put like a tablespoon of it with four ounces of water. It's a little greeny. And it smells a little bit like grass, but I don't mind it. I like it, actually. I just chug it down real quick, and I'm good to go. It's got all these great things in it, which I think that this Trader Joe's juice has it as well. I bought the 32-ounce one. It's fully vegan. It's a blend of mango, banana, and kiwi purees with two juices not from concentrate, green foods, and other natural flavors and ingredients. It's a good source of potassium and B vitamins, riboflavin, and B6. Excellent source of vitamins A and B12. This is so good. It's super green and I love it. Um, it contains 100% juice. This was actually $3.99 and it has four servings in it. So, um, <clears throat> I love it. I think it's great. Um, it's got, for sure, it's got um, apple juice, mango puree, pineapple juice, banana puree, kiwi puree, spirulina, natural flavor, chlorella, 
uh, broccoli, spinach, barley, grass, wheat, barley grass, wheat grass, parsley, ginger root, blue green, algae, odorless garlic. I love it. Um, yeah, I can I just tell you how much of a Trader Joe's junkie I am? It was all about Whole Foods a couple years ago for me. And then um, Trader Joe's came to New York and um, I stopped going to Whole Foods because Whole Foods was way too expensive and I could find pretty much almost everything I loved at Trader Joe's. And the Trader Joe's brand, like, is so good. So if you know what I'm talking about, it's super amazing. I'm trying to get back on the fitness grind of things. Um, I put on a little bit of weight and you know the weight it's good on me a lot of people say that you know i was good with a little weight um but for me in my personal best i feel like it's too much weight like i'm too heavy i'm not used to carrying this much weight around and it makes me i feel i don't know if it's psychosomatic i don't know if it's all in my head but i feel like you know a little bit um lethargic and fatigued quicker um and i definitely feel like you know, much, much, much more, more tired and achy all over in general. So I feel like I need to drop a few pounds and I need to strengthen my core. I need to be really hardcore um, with my exercise um, and eating habits. And now I eat pretty well for the most part. Now, that being said, I still will break down and go get some Popeyes, like with the hotness <laughs> and with lots of hot sauce. Like I'll do it like twice a week. Um, if it's a particularly, you know, crazy time with school and work and it's a stressful time and I don't have a lot of time to prepare anything, I will go and just eat some fast food. And then after like a week of doing that, I feel so disgusting. I can't touch it again. So I know when it's time to stop. Um, so I generally don't eat those things, but every now and then I, you know, I dig in or I have some ice cream or I treat myself to something. So for me, I feel like, eh, you know, I know what my limits are and I know that I'm in a really good house, knock on wood. Um, and I know, you know, exactly where my levels are for all of those, you know, stats and I know that I, you know, I do take care of myself. So if I want to indulge, I don't, you know, beat myself up about it. But I do know that the weight that I've been putting on around my middle is a little bit concerning. Um, and people think that it looks good and they oh my gosh, you, you know, you're still smaller than most of the women out there. But I know that this is too much weight for me personally. I'm still considered petite-ish, I suppose, whatever that means. But I feel like it's a little too much. Um, so I guess I'm just trying to get back on the grind of eating well most of the time again. And just really getting my exercise on, getting, you know, really fit. Um, getting active so looking forward to that I will let you guys know I haven't done the update about the gym thing because I was going really good for a while and now I haven't been in quite some time I haven't been to the gym in a month okay and I can't believe that I haven't been in a month um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm start going and I really will and when I go away for for the summer program that I'm going to I'll definitely be like taking my time to get up in the morning and take into beautiful surroundings and, and get some walking done and doing stuff. So I hope I will come back um, a little bit slimmer when I come back. I'll come back with the experience of a lifetime, but I'll also come back dropping some pounds. Shh, don't tell anybody that's part of my plan. So when, people come, when I come back, everyone's like, oh my gosh, what happened? Wow, you look great. Yep. That's okay. It's time for me to be zen and work on me. Um, I don't know what the point of this video was. I guess I'm just eating something that I loved. And if I could eat a salad for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, like a really nice salad, like that I like, that I like to create and put things in it that I like to eat, I'd be so good. Like, so, so good. Oh, I also forgot that I had my um, tofu burgers chopped up and put in there as well. So, um... Yeah, that's about it. Talk to you guys soon. Later. I might make another video of all about like the vegetarian staples that I buy, but that's another video for another day. Alright, later.